kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part five of my video series on live wallpaper app using Firebase in Android Studio. Okay, guys. So in our previous video, uh, I had shown you what we have done so far. So we will uh, continue our tutorial, and we will continue developing the app. Okay, so so uh, right now we have developed the and we have uh, listed the categories in, uh, into our activity. And now in this video, if we click on the specific any specific uh, category, so we should be shown the images or the wallpapers. Okay, for example, if we want to show or if we want to display the uh, animal uh, wallpapers, all the anim uh, animal wallpapers. So if we click on that, so the animal wallpapers will be displayed. So before that, let's try to uh, add or create a new activity okay and the name of the activity will be list wallpaper activity okay and then we uh, we will also use the view holder and we will create the view holder and also the model class all right guys so now we can easily uh, first of all let's create the model class and let's name it as wallpaper item okay and in here we uh, should have the two uh, fields the first one will be public string category id and the second one will be image link all right and we can also generate the constructors so here you can see category id and image link let's also uh, generate the getter and setter of both so after that uh, since we have this wallpaper item so now we need to create the wallpaper view holder so let's create a new java class and let's name it as wallpaper view holder all right and it will extend it with the cycler view dot view holder and let's try to generate the default constructor now basically uh, we will have the simply uh, an image view all right so let's try to create uh, a new resource file before that let me show you the inside my own project okay so here you can see we have this layout wallpaper item let me copy that and let's paste it inside our layout don't worry i will show you what is it okay so here you can see we have the card view here and then we have wrap uh, the width as wrap content and height as 120 dp and inside that we have a relative layout and only we are using the image view 
and let's name it as image view wallpaper all right since now we have it now we can easily uh, initialize our image view and let's try to in initialize it as image view equals to image view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot this and let me first of all initialize dot image view wallpaper all right this is a very simple uh, view holder let me also show you the uh, view holder so that okay all right it is a very simple one only you have you need to initialize the image view and you need to just initialize the uh, image view here and after that what we are going to do okay so now we we have the model and also the view holder so let's go to our list wallpaper and inside it let's try to change it to relative layout and after that it will we can say clip to padding we need to make it false uh, okay so before that let's try to have the recycler view match parent match parent id recycler view wallpaper and also we need to make a uh, clip to padding to false and let's try to have the padding of 0 dp okay so we have the uh, recycler view here and before that let's go to our main activity and here uh, okay so now we can say holder dot okay so holder dot image view dot set on click listener new on click listener okay so whenever we will click on the uh, image view or i mean okay so now this method will be called this on click so inside that we can simply okay first of all let's try to create a new package and let's name it as utils and inside our utils package let's create a java class and name it as let's say utils okay and inside that we only need two things uh, two uh, variables so first one is public static string category selected and public static string category id all right we have these two things then we need to go to our main activity and inside that first of all we can have okay so we can say uh, it is dot category id equals to adapter dot cat wrap and inside that we can pass the position and we can get the key all right and also similarly we can say utils dot category selected and we can simply say equals to model dot cat name all right we now have set it to the both variables now we can simply just uh, use the intent main activity dot this and we can call list wallpaper activity dot class and we can say start activity all right now what we are going to do okay so now the main activity work has been completed now we need to work on the list wallpaper activity since we already have set up the design view uh, let me show you this xml we have set up the recycler view now we just need to go to our list uh, wallpaper activity and inside that we first of all need to initialize the recycler view similarly similar to the main activity and we can say recycler view 
and let's try to initialize it as recycler view equals to say find view by id r dot id dot recycler view wallpaper sorry what was the id here ry wallpaper okay so we can say ry wallpaper and after we initialize the recycler view now we can we need to use the query method here so we can say query and make sure that it is this com dot google dot firebase database and let's also try to initialize firebase recycler options and inside that we can say wallpaper item options and also this firebase recycler adapter and we can say firebase recycler adapter with that we need to use the wallpaper item and the second will be the wallpaper view holder and we need to name it as adapter all right and after that let's try to finish it first that has fixed size and make sure that it is true and after that we now need to use the grid layout manager equals to new grid layout manager and we need to first of all pass the or we can say this and two all right and after that we just need to set the secondary dot set uh, layout manager and we need to set the grid layout manager and after that now we need to load the wallpapers uh, using the firebase recycler adapter so first of all i want to show you that uh, we need to first of all have the category item here uh, all right so before uh, going towards there uh, i mean before we uh, load the data using the firebase recycler adapter so we need to use or uh, i mean change this uh, layout so first of all you need to export it okay so okay so now we need another node and the all the data we need so first of all let's try to import the json or export sorry and as you can see that it is now saved and downloaded and after that we need to use uh, we need to have some other uh, background i mean uh, let's say okay so basically we need an object here uh, inside our firebase database uh, because we need to insert the category id and image link i mean we need to define or uh, define the links of all the wallpapers which we want inside our applica application okay so before that let's say here okay before that let me see where it okay so we can here say um, background and here we can say zero one okay so here we can say category id 
and it will be 0 1 0 1 will be for C okay and then we can say name or sorry image link and it will be here okay similarly we can say 0 2 and here we will have category ID it will be 1 and the image link ok similarly we will have 0 3 category ID it will be also be 0 1 and so on all right you just need to use uh, any yeah, i mean category link okay so now if we have two wallpapers of uh, sky category then we will have the c category so now you will just need to change this zero two okay so here you can say image link and similarly zero four and here you can say category id so it will be 02 image link will be such all right and so on so basically i will show you my own okay so this is my uh, own uh, so now i will just copy that and or I mean I will insert it okay so if you need I will paste the JSON file uh, in the video description all right so let's try to have this is multiple live app export okay so just remove that and click on import json and here you will have click on import and now you are able to see this previous category background as well as this background okay this is uh, 8.217 point to 17. okay so now you can see this is category id 1 then category id 1 these are the seven images inside our first category then we have the second category from eight number okay up to 17 okay so we have the two categories you can have multiple here okay it can uh, lead to 100 or 200 as you wish so now that we have the firebase ready so now let's go back to our app and now inside our app we okay so basically now we need to use the query method first of all so we can say query equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and inside there we can say backgrounds let me see it again backgrounds all right and then we need is a uh, older by child and we can set the category id dot equal to and we can say utils dot category id all right and after that we need to now utilize our options object i mean the file based recycler option so we can say new file based recycler options dot builder and inside our builder we can say wallpaper item dot set 
query and inside that query we can pass the query object and then we can say wallpaper item dot class dot build all right now we have the options uh, object here now we can easily initialize our firebase recycler adapter so we can say adapter equals to new firebase recycler adapter and now inside our own create view holder method okay so it is saying an error and we need to use the options here okay so now inside our own create view holder we again need the view when we need to inflate the layout so we can say layout inflator dot in okay sorry what has happened okay so now we can say new firebase recycler adapter and here we can use the options then inside our uh, own create view folder we can say view v equals to layout inflator dot from and we can say parent dot get context dot now we can say dot inflate and which layout we want to inflate is it is layout wallpaper item so we can say r dot layout dot layout wallpaper item then we can say parent and false all right now we can uh, say in height equals to parent dot get near height divided by 2 and we can set v dot set minimum height and it will be the height okay so because we want to have the equal number of height equal height of all the wallpaper images okay inside our recycler view so that's why we have set the minimum height okay then also we can uh, now just need to return new wallpaper view holder and inside that we simply send v all right now the on create method is complete now let's go to our own bind view holder method now inside our own bind view holder it's very simple just say picasso dot get dot load and inside our load we can simply say model dot get image link and we can say dot into okay so before that we can say dot network policy network policy offline dot into and we can simply say holder dot all right so now we are not getting the image view so let's go to our list uh, wallpaper view holder yes we need to make it public all right so now we can say holder dot image view all right and then we can use the callback and inside our own error method we again need to say dot load model dot get image link dot into and we can okay so before that we can say dot error uh, dot driver dot i see terrain dot into and we can say model dot okay instead of folder we can say holder dot image view all right now it is saying that it needs to be final so let's say to be final all right and after uh, here now we can 
say let's make it okay so now here we can simply say adapter dot start listening and then we can say recycler view dot set adapter and we need to pass the adapter method here and after that we can uh, override the method uh, on start and here we can say if adapter is not equal to null so just adapter dot start listening and also on resume method if adapter is not equal to null adapter dot start listening and inside our own destroy method we can say if adapter is not equal to null adapter dot stop listening and also the on stop method if adapter is not equal to null adapter dot stop listening all right i guess that is complete now let's try to run our application and before that let me connect my phone let me open the sightseeing app let's load it and let's open the sightseeing app again so now it is connected and let me run the app again so that I show you the output and now the application is running and you are now able to see the images as well as the name of the category all right my internet is very slow that's why it is loading very slow now if we uh, if we click on c so okay so now the application is crashed let's see where the error has occurred okay so it is saying that there is database exception okay wallpaper item does not define a no argument constructor so wallpaper item it should have a default uh, empty constructor all right now let's try to run the app again and i hope now the application will work yes now the application is running and if we click on see so now you are able to see let me show you okay so now you are able to see all the C images here all right and if we go back and if we click on sky so you will be able to see all the sky images all right 
सो गाइस इफ़ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब गुड बाय